Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So in case you haven't noticed yet, I am wearing zero makeup. All I have done so far is put my moisturizer and serums on. I'm going to go ahead and do a really simple look for you guys today, but kind of colorful. I'm going to basically do a basic pink eye on the top and then a teal underline to kind of add that really nice pop of color. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the color number 125, Very Fair. And then I'm going to take the Sigma P82 brush, which is just a really small concealer brush, and I'm just going to pat that into the under eye. You guys know that I have horrible under eye circles and dark pigmentation under there, so I'm always really careful to cover it up. And I always kind of sort of pat and blend in a triangle motion so that it highlights the under eye. And then I'm going to follow that up with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation in the color number 100, Ivory. You guys know this is one of my favorite foundations. I just take one and a half pumps and a Sigma F82 brush. I'm liking the 82s today, I think. And I'm just going to pat that on this side of my face and blend it in. Right up into the hairline and then down along the jawline and just pull some of it down onto the neck. And then same on the other side. Dab it onto my face and then blend it all the way out. So if you see me looking down in this direction, it's because that's where I have my mirror today. So I'm just using my mirror to help me apply my makeup. And so I'm kind of looking in it while I'm doing it. There we go. Then with a small angled brush, I'm just going to take the Physician's Formula Solar Powder Bronzer in Light Bronzer. This is an SPF of 20, as you can see. It's written across here. I just like to blend all those colors together. It's very light for a bronzer, so it works really nice kind of as a contour and then just to add some color to the face. For highlight, we're going to use the Lorac Perfectly Lit Powder in Spotlight and a MAC 128 brush. I'm just going to dab that on the upper cheekbones. And a little bit just to the cupid's bow. And then for blush, I'm just going to use Tipsy by Tarte. And this is such a pretty coral color. Remember these blushes are really pigmented, so you want to use a light hand and then build up if you need to. And all you're looking to create is a really nice soft glow with your highlight. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using my NYX in number 5 brunette. And all I do is dip my brush into the oh, powder side, mix kind of both colors together, and then into the wax side. The wax helps to shape and the powder helps to fill in any sparse areas you might have in your brows. My eyebrows right now are in dire need of a wax, but this really helps to define the shape. So now we're moving on to the eyes for this look, and that's what's really going to make this look pop. So we're going to start with Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 13, which is just a really pretty shimmery eye cream color. And you're going to pop that all over the eye. So that's just created a really nice shimmery base on that side for that eye look. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Start by using it on the back of a brush. Fill in the eye area. And take the warm finger and blend it out. There we go. Next we're going to take just a flat shader brush like this one. And any pinky neutral toned eyeshadow. So I'm going to use Paradisco and Jest mixed together. Jest is a really pretty soft pink color. So that will really emphasize that. But Paradisco has a little bit of that coral shimmery shade in it. 
And so you definitely want some color on the top part of your eye for this look. When you mix Paradisco and Jess, you get a really beautiful peachy corally eye color, which I think on blue eyes really makes your eyes stand out. So now for that pop of color we've been talking about, you're going to take your Sigma E65, which is just your really thin angled brush, and I'm using NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Peacock, but you can use any shadow that you like that's kind of a tealy color. I've got quite a few of them. You know, there's quite a few different matte colors that you could use, but I like using cream because I find it blends easier. So I'm going to start just by lightly lining the bottom line with this. So just lightly lining the bottom part of your eye with this bright blue peacock color. Then you're going to take your brush and blend that out. Now I recommend going in with a small pencil brush. This is the MAC 219. And finding a teal colored eyeshadow, I'm going to use MAC's, I'm going to use MAC's Teal Blue, which is this one right here. You just want to apply a little bit at the tip of your brush and then smudge it under the eye, right over where you went with the NYX pencil. This is just going to create a gradual fade and also help set the cream shadow color so that it doesn't move as much during the day. Now for mascara, I'm going to start with the Lash Prime from Tarte. So I'm going to go ahead and do two coats of that. There we go. So now I look like I have no eyelashes. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Falsies Flared, which is one of my favorite mascaras. I love the curved brush. I'm going to repaint my white lashes black. And then just a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. And to finish off the look, I'm going to be using Rimmel's Apocalypse in the color Luna. And I actually ordered these in from the UK, and I'm really excited to have them. You want to start by wiping off any lip balm that you have. You can just take your finger and kind of wipe it off. This way you're still rubbing it in, but you're taking off moist of, most of it. Then you're going to take the lip color that you're using, so I'm using Luna. Now you do want to be careful with these because they're really pigmented and so you don't want to apply too much. So that is Luna. I love these. These are so pigmented. I'm going to talk about them a whole bunch in a video that I've got coming up. But that is my look for the day. I really like it. It's really natural looking. It's very easy on the eyes, but I love how the blue adds that really nice pop of color. That's it for this look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a nice pop of color. Great for summer. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.